hello friends uh, welcome again and this is my new project hotel management system and i have developed this project in java spring boot and uh, angular and uh, i am using angular's latest version that is angular 14 and database i am using the mysql right and spring boot i am using 2.1.6 release and uh, for id i am using sts spring boot tool suits for developing a spring boot application and uh, visually should your code for angular development right for port i'm using port 8080 for the api development means spring boot rest api development and port 4200 for the angular right so these all technology stacks i have used for developing this project right the hotel management system this is an admin driven project where uh, we have not implemented the customer operations only admin is there means admin can log in admin can perform certain operations right so let's start with the project functionalities and the features of the project what we have implemented what are the features available inside this project right so once you run this project on port 4200 then you will get this page right the login page this is the first page right once you log in you will get this uh, dashboard right here you will see a lot of options right and all uh, on clicking on those options those form will be open right and all of the data will come from the mysql database using the spring boot api right so let me go through the all of the menus one by one so these these are the menu options even you can go on this page either clicking on this menu or here right so this is the dashboard this is the first one this is a room management here you will be able to see all of the rooms you can see i have added <coughs> this number of rooms right you can see all of the informations here these are the buttons right if you want to <coughs> click the edit then you will you can edit the room and after that you can submit and those details will be updated inside the database if you want to add a new room just click on the add room and after that you will be able to add new rooms from here right even if you want to delete it just click on this delete button and that room will be deleted from the database right these are the room type management here you can see these are the room types right ac room non ac room family source deluxe room super deluxe room right you can add any number of room types this room type will be available here in this drop down right this is a dynamic drop down and the values are coming from the api using the using api from the database right this is all bookings if you click on the all bookings then you will be able to see all of the bookings made by uh, made by admin for different customer if you click on that you will be able to see all of the uh, all of the details right <clears throat> so you can see this is the order id and the order date customer and this one all of the things are here that this is the room total amount customer paid is six thousand rupees right and here you can see all of the other billing items means the food items what he ordered in the room or what he uh, consumed during uh, his stay right all all of the billing items are here right this is all bookings right all of the bookings this is add booking from here you can add the booking right then here you can select the customer next the room id so you can select anyone the from date right so you can select from 11th to 15th right so customer is staying for four days right once you click submit it then the total cost will be automatically uh, will be calculated automatically so you can see the four days for 1000 total amount customer paid is 4000 rupees right and here you can see there is no other items available because just now the cash the admin has booked a room for the customer right so only amount customer paid is four thousand rupees right if you click on the billing management then from here you can add the billing right if you go on the all billing so three this is a three 
91 and you can see this is the four night stay right and if i click on the billing items if new billings then here you can select the order id and the billing category so food items right i am i can add anything here right and then <coughs> dinner right submit right you can see i have added one line item for that order id right if i glue go on that booking and if i click on here right you can see this billing item is displaying here right and total amount is 5500 this one and this one correct so this is the total so you can add any number of uh, things from here right from the add new billing items here you can see the billing category this order is id drop down is also dynamic this is also dynamic right product name product cost and descriptions you can add this is a first billing category right so currently i have added three categories food items spa laundry but you can add any number of categories and those category will be available here in this drop down the billing category right this is a customer management from here you can add any number of customer you can see i have added five customers but if you want to any add new customer just add new customer and you can enter all of the informations here and all of those customer details will be saved and it will be displayed here you can edit or delete the customer informations from that page right this is a delete option this is an employee management you can add employee also these are the employees right if you can if you want to add new employees then you can fill the information here and those details will be saved into the database right so you can see these are the five employees right the last thing is the logout if you click on the logout then your session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal page right so these all functionalities i have developed inside this project total management system and as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot angular mysql web-based project right we are all of the api the rest api we had developed in spring boot and all of the ui user interface we had developed in angular right so if you need more functionality if you need more features inside this project just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much